Clue is a series of children's books based on the board game of the same name. Each book has ten short puzzles to solve. I don't think any of the puzzles were more than ten pages long. You have to use logic to determine who the culprit is. For example, say the culprit is an unmarried woman. Since the culprit is a woman, it's not Professor Plum, Colonel Mustard, or Mr. Green. Since the culprit is unmarried, it's not Mrs. Peacock or Mrs. White. Therefore, the culprit is Miss Scarlet. That's generally how it works. You eliminate all the suspects until you're left with one final suspect, just like the game. There are six suspects and six weapons. In each case, the suspects have different weapons. Most of the time, you identify the culprit by their weapon. Occasionally, you identify suspects by their personality traits. Professor Plum is an absent-minded professor. He's forgetful to the extreme, and there are many jokes about his poor memory. He'll forget who he is or what he's doing. Colonel Mustard is an angry man who constantly challenges people to duels. There are many jokes about his short temper. Mrs. Peacock is a stuffy old woman who thinks other people have bad manners. She complains a lot about ridiculous things. Miss Scarlet is beautiful and vain. Mr. Green is rich and greedy. Mrs. White is the surly maid. There was a running joke where she's nice to Mr. Body to his face and mean behind his back, but the series eventually dropped that joke and made her mean all the time. Mr. Body is never a suspect. He's the fabulously rich victim who is constantly attacked and robbed by the six guests. There are lots of jokes about his eccentric family members or him wasting money on silly things, like a million dollar pair of socks. Normally, Body is a bit of an idiot. He's not smart enough to realize his guests openly want to kill him. Sometimes he's less stupid and more overly optimistic that he can get his guests to behave. The books have a lot of jokes. Besides for the characters acting silly, there are lots of puns and slapstick. I get the sense that many readers enjoy these books for the humor more than the puzzles. Mr. Body is killed for real at the end of every book. The start of the next book offers a silly explanation for how the murder was fake. Like, Mr. Body was sleeping, not dead. Or, the rope was actually a piece of spaghetti. Here is an example of a typical mystery in the series. Mr. Body shows off a cow-shaped ring worth six million dollars. All of the guests make cow puns and grab weapons. Mustard has the revolver, Green has the candlestick, Scarlet has the lead pipe, Plum has the wrench, White has the rope, and Peacock has the knife. That night, they all try to take the cow ring. Mustard is attacked by Candlestick, who's attacked by Peacock, who's attacked by a forgetful man, who's attacked by someone with a blunt weapon. Who is it? Miss Scarlet with the lead pipe. You recognize Plum as the forgetful man. When you eliminate Plum's wrench and Green's Candlestick, Miss Scarlet is the only one left with a blunt weapon. The vast majority of the crimes are murder and theft. Trying food and playing sports are also common. Some puzzle types appear regularly. Trading puzzles, where the guests trade items several times, you have to keep track of who has what. Each book seems to have a math puzzle, where you keep track of everyone's running total. A variation on this is the time puzzle, where you keep track of when things happen. For example, White starts working at 3 o'clock, she spends 30 minutes in the ballroom, 10 minutes in the kitchen, and 20 minutes in the conservatory. Where was she at 3.30? I mentioned the rooms in that example. Most of the puzzles don't include the rooms as part of the puzzle, probably because there are 9 rooms. It would be cumbersome to mention 9 different rooms in every single mystery. I personally skipped over the mysteries that required you to identify the culprit based on the room. The stories in these books are all interchangeable. You can read the chapters in any order, and it wouldn't make a difference. Likewise, you can read the books in any order without making any difference. Overall, I enjoyed these books. There are one or two books I disliked. One had too many puzzles where you keep track of dozens of items. Another had two puzzle solutions that were incorrect. Ugh. Other than that, the books were mostly good. I like them. I can see why they entertained kids, the puzzles are decent, the stories are funny, and the characters are memorable, even if they're one-dimensional. I give the Clue series a thumbs up!